Today we celebrate St. Agatha. As in the case of St. Agnes, another virgin martyr of the early church, almost nothing is historically certain about this saint except that she was martyred in Sicily during the persecution of Emperor Decius in 251. Legend has it that Agatha, like Agnes, was arrested as a Christian, tortured, and sent to a house of prostitution to be mistreated. She was preserved from being violated and was later put to death. She is claimed as the patroness of both Palermo and Catania. The year after her death, the stilling of an eruption of Mount Etna was attributed to her intercession. As a result, apparently, people continue to ask her prayers for protection against fire. The scientific modern mind winces at the thought of volcanoes might be contained by God because of the prayers of a Sicilian girl, still less welcome probably is the notion of that saint being the patroness of such very professions as those of foundry workers, nurses, miners, and alpine guides. Yet in our historical precision, have we lost an essential human quality of wonder and poetry? and even our belief that we come to God by helping each other, both in action and prayer. St. Agatha Let us imitate her life, and let us imitate her decisions.